split out twice a day. There, there was one that touched the electric fence. Welcome back to Chevy Chase Farm. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. I would appreciate it. Helps the farm. This week we're going to get an update on the pigs. And in particular, I want to show you my feed setup that I have for the bigger pigs, which is a pretty simple and cheap feed trough I've made that's holding up really well with them. More importantly, it's extremely portable. If this is the first time that you've seen the channel, I'm back here in the big pig paddock. So this is where these red wattle pigs we're going to look at have been for the past several months. They started out right up here and now they're down there and actually they heard me come up and they're waiting to be fed not sure if you can see them down there got a couple wires go all the way around through this whole place and I've been moving them progressively down this hillside right now it's feeding time and they they know when I come up like the little pigs I feed them twice a day although I would like to go to once a day they're getting about five pounds of feed for each pig split out twice a day there there was one that touched the electric fence it's amazing to me that every time I come here they want to test that fence so they know when I should go through it but they'll still put that nose on it You'll see them. They look really good. They were all born around the first part of February. And we're now here at the latter part of June. Before I feed them, let me show you my feed trough. Right here's what I use. I made that out of three, two by eight by 10 feet long pressure treated boards. But these 10 pigs are about to fill that feeder up. And some of the, there's a little guilt in there. They kind of bully her out. So I'm going to build another one. And right here at the latter part of the video, we'll go through that and build a second one and see how it does up here. But right now, these guys are hungry. So we're going to give them a bucket of feed here. I usually pour some down. It's so hard right now to get this bucket in here with them. I give me a little pile there that kind of gets them off me. I think this trough feeder really works out good. It's low to the ground. They can knock it over, but they can't do a whole lot to it. It's pretty heavy. I would say it probably weighs close to 100 pounds. But I do have a rope at one end that allows me to pull it. Most of the commercial waterers, feeders for anything, whether it's cattle, whether it's pigs, chickens, they're not necessarily made for those of us that are moving our animals quite a bit into new places. So a lot of times we're having to improvise and build our own things. And that trough right there, it looks like it's holding up good to the pigs, but just as importantly, it's, it allows me to move it. I can grab it, the rope on it, and move it to the next paddock. Speaking of the next paddock, here's where they'll be going in just a few days. I had debated whether or not I was going to put them in there because it was so thick. But I'm going to weed eat right around over here. 
I'm gonna come down this corner. I'm gonna have to get the weed eater out. I'm gonna get me a path right down through all that, down to the tree, and just before the tree, circle back, come up the other side. I think they're gonna really like this area right here. A lot of blackberry bushes too. There's no blackberries yet, but I bet they're gonna really enjoy those. They've all settled down, eating. Actually doing pretty good. There's 10 pigs right here on this feeder. And they're not, everybody's kinda of got their own spot. Well, let's head back to the barn. We'll build another one of these feed bunks right here. And then we'll bring it out and see how it does having two of those on the pasture with them rather than just one. To make my feed troughs, I started out with three two by eight inch by 10 foot long pressure treated boards. These three boards right here cost me around $37. I'll have about a dollar in shrews, so I'm under $40 in total to build this pretty heavy and um, what I find a feed trough that can withstand all the roughness that these big pigs are going to put it through. I like to have the trough where it comes at an angle narrower here and then it kind of comes up. So to do that I take my circle saw and I set it up on 15 degree angle here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bevel down one side, then bevel the other, and then I will simply screw the two boards into that to create the trough. the board with the two angles cut on it. We'll now flip it over and put together the two sides. Here it is, put together. You see how it angles on either side. Also, I'm using three and a half inch deck screws and I put eight on each side. Don't shrimp on the number of screws. You wanna make sure this thing holds up. The next thing I'm gonna do is put an end cap on both ends. This is just a piece of um, board that comes off of a fence, scrap wood I had in the barn and I'm gonna cut it and put one on either end just like this. So I have my end caps screwed on both sides. Now what I like to do is I'm gonna drill a hole on both sides here and then connect this rope to it and that'll allow me to pull it through the pad. It's pretty simple.
And there it is, the finished trough, <clears throat> along with the rope that I can pull it along with. Let's get this up into the paddock and we will see how it helps us feed these pigs out. I've got the trough back here with the uh, pigs. Again, it's pretty heavy, so but we're going to get it. Go ahead and pull it down the hill. I'm gonna try something with this trough here. May make it easier for me to feed them, at least get some in this first trough before going down there in the second. Put it right here by this wire. A little worried they get excited and they get through it, but let's see what happens. So far that's working out. It definitely was a lot easier to get the feed out to them that way. So I've got feed here, half their feed here, half of it in the second trough. I am feeding them twice a day as I mentioned. 50, roughly 50 pounds of feed a day, two times. But now that I've got both feeders in here, I think I'm gonna go to once a day feeding. If you have an opinion on that, definitely leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. As always, I uh, thank you for watching the channel and all the support for Tuffy Chase Farm. Everyone have a great week.